Good morning, guys. Sean here with Accelerate Roofing and Construction. Back out here at Daytona Beach, we just finished this big, pretty complicated job. No job too big for Accelerate Roofing, as you're about to see. I'm gonna take you up on the roof and show you some of the crazy facets and all the crazy detail work and special attention we had to take onto this roof. A lot of custom work that only people like us could do. I can promise you that. So let's go up on the roof and check it out. Let's go. Here we are, guys. Now check this roof out. Beautiful, beautiful Atlantic blue shingles, like I was saying. Very appropriate for a house on the coast here. Check out the shape of this house. Now tell me that it doesn't look like, you know, a row of maybe three or four townhomes or condos. Nope, this is all one house. All these different facets of the roof had to be taken very special care of. A lot of detail work, a lot of special cuts, not to mention chimneys, skylights. And around here on the back, we've got a flat roof that wraps all the way around this green pole enclosure. Let me show you around some of the details we got here. We got quite a few of them. Now guys, this area right here is what we call a dead valley. It's a lot of water flowing down from this section of the roof. It comes down here, hits this area, and also hits this wall. So what we had to do here that was non-existent was this modified bitumen material meant specifically for low sloped areas and flat roofs. This previously had shingles on it. And this is just under code for shingles. You are not allowed to put shingles on a roof this size pitch, this height. So we went ahead with the proper material, laid it, it goes up under the shingles to about here, goes up this brand new flashing we installed all the way along the wall, goes up the flashing, and then we cover that with what you call counter flashing. So as you can see in these corners here, the material runs up the L shape of the wall behind this flashing. What a lot of people will do is not run the material up the wall. They will just stop it here at the wall, make a cut, and call it a day problem is that material over time can shrink and draw back from the wall a little bit and guess what that leaves you with a gap here prime for leaks not going to let that happen you can see here at the bottom of this wall flashing we added what you call a kick out or simpler way to put it is a diverter as the water flows down this direction down the wall instead of wanting to run down into this corner we're going to shoot it away from the corner into the gutter as you can see right here where it's exactly supposed to go. We've set these up all over the roof on all our corners. Now this homeowner has what you can see is quite a big skylight right on the ridge of their roof, right above their entryway. Obviously the homeowner did not want to get rid of the skylight, they wanted to keep it. So what we did was we have our own custom metal shop. All this metal made, bent to the correct dimensions. We cut it to fit around, bent it around, screws, silicone. So this skylight now has all new flashing and a whole new light. Also, what you can see is we added the diverter here. So when the water drips down, it'll shoot off of this diverter a little bit and just help that water keep moving that much better. And again, as you can see, there's a lot of crazy twists and contours on this roof. Water's wanting to go in all different directions. It's wanting to run into the walls all over the place, as you can see all new flashing all along these walls here all new flashing because there's no sense of reusing old flashing especially on a house like this with this much water moving in very specific places again as you can see we have another dead valley where we put that modified bitumen material which is special made for low slope roofs again it runs up under the shingles that way up under the shingles this way and up the wall just like on the other section I showed you. Right over here, brand new skylight right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you one more custom piece of flashing we had to put because here's another crazy shape on this roof. Look at this. The water's wanting to go in all crazy directions here. So we want to keep it moving as best as possible, use the best materials. So again, we had this flashing made in our shop, had that custom installed, custom cut, custom bent just for this job site. Here we go. Again, another brand new beautiful skylight. And as you can see, another crazy shape on this roof. More water wants to come from all different directions and come and shoot off in one direction, which we call again a dead valley. Same process as on the other two. Perfect material, not shingles, guys. This is material for flat roofs and low slope, low pitch roofs. It's meant for this stuff, guys. Again, shoots up under the shingles up the wall flashing so we can keep that water moving 
all the way off down the end of the wall, shoot around the corner, hit the diverter into the gutter, no problems. Look at that beautiful wall flashing installed all the way along here. Now guys, finally we're down here on the flat roof. As you can see, it wraps all the way around this house. A little horseshoe shape that goes all the way around, around that corner, and around that corner, and then around, and then it even goes around the back corner over there. All new wall flashing all the way along, just like we've done all over this roof. All new wall flashing, and this is the same process we would use on those dead valleys I was talking about. You run your base sheet, then you run your cap sheet, and you have new flashing behind this cap sheet in the corner here. It goes up this way and hits the corner, comes out this way as well. We run our base sheet, then our new flashing, and then our cap sheet goes up the wall behind this flashing, put this new counter flashing on, drive pins to secure it. Drive pins look very nice versus those blue tap cons. I prefer them much better. Again, guys, the most important part about running your cap sheet this way is if you don't, then you have to cut it right here. And like I said, then you risk leaks going in there. That's a penetration. We want to eliminate all penetrations possible. So we run it up the wall to make it extra safe, extra watertight. Homeowner's got some conduit and wires here that just have to be re-ran by their electrician. But besides that, this flat roof is looking quite beautiful. One thing guys, you see all the couple of little holes we have here where we were installing our new flashing. The customer opted to not cut away all the stucco as to hide this counter flashing. They preferred just to do the counter flashing and go back and do stucco repairs afterwards. So now that we're finished with this roof, we have a stucco repair company coming up to fix all these holes up for this customer.